He's one of the most controversial politicians in Europe, dubbed the Dutch Donald Trump, and that has nothing to do with his precisely combed hair. I'm my own man. I'm not a copy of Donald Trump. Um, I'm Geert Wilders from Holland. And um, um, for many issues, um, I spoke about it already for 10, 12 years, even before Donald Trump was thinking perhaps about going into politics. So who is Heert Wilders? Heert Wilders is the leader of the far-right Party for Freedom and candidate for Dutch Prime Minister in national elections on March 15th. The election is seen as one of three key tests for the future of the European Union against growing anti-establishment sentiment, with elections in France and Germany to come later this year. He founded the party in 2006, after he left the now-ruling People's Party for Freedom and Democracy, following a dispute over the party's position on the accession of Turkey to the European Union. He was recently convicted of inciting discrimination and insulting a minority group, charged over comments he made during a campaign rally in 2014, saying he would, quote, take care of reducing the number of Moroccans in the country. I was convicted in a political trial which shortly before the elections, attempts to neutralize the leader of the largest and most popular opposition party. Moroccans are not a race, and people who criticize Moroccans are not racist. At his campaign launch in February, he seemed undeterred. There is a lot of Moroccans come in Holland who makes the streets unsafe. So what does he stand for? Much of Mr. Wilder's rhetoric has drawn comparisons to Mr. Trump's. People no longer feel represented by all these disconnected politicians, judges and journalists who have been harming our people for so long and make our country weaker instead of stronger. His slogan is a variation of Mr. Trump's Make America Great Again. Make the Netherlands ours again. He's even a prolific tweeter. Mr. Wilders is also a regular contributor to Breitbart News, the right-wing website formerly run by Mr. Trump's chief strategist, Steve Bannon. Mr. Wilders is anti-Islam, anti-immigration, and anti-EU. He's a close ally of Marine Le Pen's National Front and the right-wing nationalist Alternative for Germany, parties with decisive roles to play in their national elections in May and September. We are now being threatened by mass immigration, um, Islamization and what I see as the toxic um, um, combination of mass immigration from Islamic countries and at the same time a total lack of demanding for people to assimilate and to integrate. Mr. Wilders has promised to deliver a quote, total de-Islamification of the Netherlands. He has vowed to end immigration from Islamic countries, shut down mosques and Islamic schools, and ban the Quran, which he has compared to Hitler's Mein Kampf. In 2008, Mr. Wilders produced a film which mixed passages from the Quran with clips of Islamist terror attacks. He was subsequently charged with inciting hatred towards Muslims, but was acquitted by a Dutch court. Mr. Wilders has also pledged to hold a referendum on EU membership and reinstate the Dutch Gilder. We should all regain that national sovereignty and still trade with other countries as Switzerland does today and as the United Kingdom will do tomorrow, and both countries will flourish even more, and at the same time being independent and sovereign, and that's what I want for the Netherlands. So will he win? His party led in the polls for most of last year, but support has fallen. The latest polls suggest the Freedom Party will come second behind the ruling People's Party for Freedom and Democracy. And even if Mr. Wilders manages to turn that around, he's still unlikely to command a majority in Parliament. The mainstream political parties on the left and the right have said they wouldn't form a coalition with him because of his stance on Islam and immigration. Zero chance were the words from incumbent Prime Minister Mark Rutte. But Mr. Wilders should not be counted out or dismissed. The firebrand has altered political discourse, policy debates and the political landscape in the Netherlands towards the right. Mr. Ruta has even adopted some of his rhetoric. So regardless of who ends up in power, Geert Wilders will influence Dutch politics, whether he wins and forms a government or not.